I'd say that just about does it for... That just about does it? Oh my god. It's a long day, guys. Jesus. Hey guys, it's Tom here, and in this video, we're going to be opening up this time capsule that I made a year ago, and I've been doing every year as a tradition. And if you're unfamiliar, I've been writing my mains, PBs, YouTube statistics, and then predicting what they would be a year from that point in time. I believe this is about the third year I've done it, so make sure to go check out the other videos if you haven't already. But let's dive right into this box. This is actually a Yan 3 box, if any of you even remember what that thing was. And yes, that's right, a year later, this code is still rocking 10% off. So make sure you're using it at dailypuzzles.com.au. And inside, oh my goodness. It doesn't smell that bad, actually. I thought, you know, maybe it would get a bit old considering it's been in my drawer for a year, but... And so here they are, all of the current ones. Uh, at least they were current a year ago and my predictions, and so let's go through them. So for 2x2, two two, apparently I was averaging 3.5, which I genuinely have not practiced 2x2 two two besides at a competition since then, so it's probably the same or even worse. Let's just say that it is 3.5 for the sake of it, and we'll say I got that one correct. I wasn't actually sure about this, but apparently a year ago I was averaging 9.1, on 3x3. Three 8.5 three. I didn't quite get to, however, I would say I'm about 8.8. .8. It's only 0.3 off, but considering that's quite a big margin, I won't give myself a point for that. 4x4 four four was 43 seconds, and I didn't quite get sub 40. To be honest, I'm still about 41 seconds or something, so that was also a bit off. 5x5, five five, I was averaging 130 and hoping to get sub 120. I definitely did not practice 5x5 five five much. As is the annual tradition, I'm usually sort of making fun of Scube and Pyraminx, and to be honest, they are decent events. If you suck! I'm just gonna save you guys the time and just be honest and say I didn't practice Mega Minx or Square One at all. So we can cross them off as well, to be honest. So something interesting, my 3x3 single of 5.18, I did not think I would break it. I actually got a 4.98 earlier on in the year, so I still got it wrong though. My 4x4 single, I'm yet to get a sub 30, so we got that wrong too. I'm gonna try not to cry here, but <laughs> my official 3x3 single and average, they did not change at all. I guess that's what happens when you go to one comp in the year. My subscriber count a year ago was 2.8, uh, and we're now at about nearly 7,200, so uh, not quite 10k, but still, I'm very happy with that, so thank you guys for the amazing support this year. My cube collection, surprisingly, was only 60 last year. Uh, I think that's because I gave away a lot of cubes at competitions last year, but I believe uh, from my count the other day in the Q&A, I am at 82 cubes. I think we got one right. My largest end by end puzzle last year was 6x6, and I predicted, it was a bold prediction, possibly crazy to even think that I would get a 7x7 seven seven in a whole year. Well, we did it. So, uh, I was spot on, and no, I did not progress any further than a 7x7. Seven seven. What do you think, I'm crazy? At that point, interestingly, I was maining the GTS 3 and the Wu Wave. I predicted that Moyu would have a GTS 4, and I guess technically, if you think about it, the WRM came from the GTS 3. And the WRM 2020 is an improvement of the WR, which is a GTS 3. So that means the WRM 2020 is a GTS 4. So I was right. I guess that my favorite events would be 3x3 and 4x4. You know, how courageous of me. What a strange guess. Who would have ever thought that? It's probably correct, to be honest. As for the 3x3 world record average and single, neither of them changed in a 12 month period. Um, not surprisingly, considering one, they are quite um, hard to break records, and two, there were not many comps at all, so they stayed the same, unfortunately. And the cube was not quite the GTS 4. You could argue the WRM 2020 is up there, but it's pretty much the GAN 11M Pro is the cube to get. Even if it's not technically the best, uh, it's the most customizable, and it's what a lot of people are loving, and it's clearly the most popular, so I'll call it the GAN 11M Pro. So unfortunately, I only got about five of them right in that whole list. Um, so that brings us to the second part of the video in which I'm gonna be making my predictions for 2022. Time really flies, guys. But to be honest, I'm kind of getting sick of this, you know, unnecessary paper, 
and this cardboard, you know, it's 2020 or in fact, it's 2021. We need to be eco-friendly, sustainable, and most importantly, efficient, so. Eco-friendly, sustainable. And to solve that, we're gonna be heading on over to Google Sheets where I've already prepared a not so nice spreadsheet for us to work with. So let's get right into it. As much as I do hope to improve over the next year, my 4.98 single is something I don't think I'm gonna break to be quite honest, so we're gonna put 4.98. My average of five though, I've nearly broken a lot of times and I actually might have broken this. I don't know if this is updated or not, but I'm pretty sure I can get like a 7.1 average. So fingers crossed. I'm pretty happy with my speed right now on the cube and I'm not that motivated to keep improving, but I do think I can get to probably 8.4 or so in the next year, maybe, probably not, we'll see. My four by four single, I'm hoping I'll get a sub 30. And I'm hoping globally I can get sub 40 on 4x4. I mean, 3x3 is a safe answer. It's probably always going to be my favorite event. But, you know, we're just going to throw a curveball and I'm going to say 7x7. Seven seven. I just checked and my YouTube subscribers are at 7,169. And I'm hoping in a year's time I can get to, let's say, 15,000. We also just hit 600,000 views, so I'm hoping in the next year, 1 million! Even 600,000 though, that's a crazy number, like, and sorry to get sappy straight into the new year, but seriously, I couldn't have done it without all of you guys who are probably watching right now, so thank you. You know what, I'm a really big fan of the WRM 2020, so I'm just gonna guess that I won't change my main for a year. It's probably unlikely. I imagine it will be another Moyu cube because personally the Moyu cubes are the only ones that work for me, uh, at least get me the best time. So the world record single, I highly doubt is gonna change. However, the average, I'm gonna guess a 5.49 by Felix. Finally, we have the cube or the biggest flagship. And I think it's going to be another Gan one, just judging how Gan's cubes have pretty much been the biggest for about four years consistently now. The tricky thing is trying to name it, and Gan, I don't even know how they name their cubes. Uh, so it could be the Gan, the Gan Wind, the Gan cl Cloud. I'm using my future predicting sensors, and they tell me Gan's newest cube is going to be called the Gan Ray. That's right, the Gan Ray 365. You might have thought, wait, did you misspell 356? Or are they actually gonna make a 65 millimeter cube? No, actually, this Gan cube is gonna have solar panels on each side, which is gonna absorb rays from the sun 365 days of the year. And that's actually gonna be powering your stack mat, your computer, and possibly your whole household if you do enough solves. Seriously, Gan, though, if you wanna hit me up and we can collab on the Gan Ray, just let me know. So I would say that just about does it for this spreadsheet. Uh, I'm pretty happy with my predictions, although I was pretty happy every other year and I always get them wrong. But that's the fun of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Honestly, I'm not sure if people are actually enjoying this and it's a series that I should keep doing or I should just keep this time capsule to myself. Uh, so please actually let me know in the comments if you'd like to see it next year or if you'd not like to see it. Uh, either way, thank you all for your support. Hope you enjoyed this video and other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Become a member, subscribe, like the video and I'll see you all next time. Bye.